All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Luis. Today is May 22nd, 2020, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. So, guys, I was reading this article here. Uh, snow turns green in Antarctica. Now, you guys already know that a couple of weeks ago, or I think it was a month ago, uh, there was red snow, black snow, pink snow, and now there's green. Green snow. So what's going on here? Well, scientists believe that this is not uh, because of climate change. This is this is basically something else. So uh, we have videos and pictures and all the information are here, guys. Once again, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends, families, and loved ones. Uh, you guys already know Antarctica is like the coldest place out there. And, um, you know, they found this mysterious green color uh, due to... Uh, uh, give me a second here, guys. It's because of uh, a satellite uh, satellite imagery. So they capture uh, pictures of green snow. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Like I say, guys, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. All right, so scientists have already observed red snow in Antarctica, and I reported that. Look at this, guys. Look at that. What in the blues are going on in Antarctica? Or what is scientists doing out there? You know, what kind of uh, weapon are they doing or building in Antarctica? You guys already know that all that area is secured by military. It's not only the U.S., but you have Russia, uh, certain parts of Ukraine and all that. They have that place locked down so <clears throat> of course men have to destroy the planet right when it comes to chemtrails when it comes to all these type of stuff man-made object and then when something goes bad at the very end they blame us for it you guys are eating too much bat soup how dare you you guys went to the toilet and look what have you created green snow how dare you but in reality they they they've done some kind of crazy experiment all right so, it says here, scientists have already observed red snow in Antarctica, but now scientists have discovered patches of green snow in satellite imagery. And that's pretty baffling too. Okay, let's see what's going on here. So, red snow is abundant in Antarctica, whether in front of Ukrainian base or at the blood falls on the Taylor Glacier. But now, scientists have shown that more and more snow turns bright green on the icy continent. Green snow? What the heck? So let's see what's going on here. Scientists have created the first ever large-scale map of microscopic algae as they bloomed across the surface of snow along the uh, Antarctica Peninsula coast. As it turns out, the green snow patches that even that can even be seen from space appear when microscopic algae grow in mass turning the snow bright green this study is the first estimate of green snow algae community uh, biomass and distribution along the antarctica peninsula sentinel 2 imagery revealed uh, 1,679 snow algae blooms seasonally covering 1.95 time. And they go to math and all that type of stuff, guys. I'm going to skip it. Uh, total dry biomass. Okay. So I started watching a little bit of this video. Once again, I'm not going to put the audio because it's mostly old music and, you know, stuff like that. I don't want to get copy striked by YouTube. But uh, let's see what's going on here. So that's the green snow. This was the red snow. Well, you have green and red mixed in this. All right. We had those penguins out there. They got to suffer through all these type of stuff that mankind is is creating. Um Man, <laughs> I mean, it, it looks beautiful. I mean, it looks beautiful. The creation of God, 
You know, they, I mean, look at that. All right, so that looks so beautiful. You know, places that I would like to visit, I mean, it, it just like the cold areas. But again, when it comes to Antarctica, uh, I don't think you could visit Antarctica. Again, guys, uh, you know, I could be wrong on that one, but I would love, love to go to Alaska. Alaska, I would love to like, you know, just visit like those places where people ski and all that snow and uh, the cabin, going to the cabin and uh, f the fireplace, having some hot cocoa. I mean, I would love to go to places like that and, uh, you know, Israel, but uh, nowadays everything just an arm and a leg. And then the ID 2020 is like they're trying to stop you from going to places. Algal blooms are the result of a nutrient like nitrogen or ferroas from fertilizer ran off entering the aquatic system and causing extensive growth of algae as testified by the paper itself. Distribution strongly influenced by marine nutrient input with 60% of bloom less than 5 kilometers from a penguin colony. Results indicate that green snow is likely to spread as global temperatures increase. And once again, guys, uh, look, I talked about this many times, but uh, the sun has entered its lockdown period, and uh, we are seeing some kind of uh, some kind of uh, changes going on in the world. More earthquakes, volcanoes are waking up, and you have all these typhoon. I mean, the first typhoon, the strongest ever recorded in history slamming certain parts of India and you have uh, FEMA that's preparing starting June 1st when it comes to hurricane season so changes are happening I do actually believe the green algae will give the penguin super powers the mighty penguin look at that the mighty penguins so uh, penguin and uh, I talked about the mighty ducks you know how China want to use the mighty ducks and go after locusts so the mighty penguin would then take over the earth and lead the way to man's kind inevitable extinction. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, why? Why do science gotta be so uh they have a good imagination? Scientists have one of the greatest imagination. I mean it, it's like uh you know, goofy and I mean those type of cartoons, you know. I'm sorry. This, the mighty penguin would then take over the earth and lead the way to man's kind inevitable extinction. Uh, extin extinction. Excuse me, guys. Certain words is hard for me to pronounce. What is your guess? Well, my guess is that scientists really need to find God. And they, <laughs> uh, scientists truly need God. Uh, they need to uh, uh, just give their life to Jesus Christ. Uh, there's something wrong with science nowadays. Uh, it's always been like that. And look, there's some scientists that are Christians, true believers, that uh, comes out with, uh, you know, a real medicine, not the vi uh, vaccine stuff. But there are some scientists that want to mix spiders with human and, you know, it, it just, you know, playing with fire and stuff like that. So um, the mighty penguin will t then take over the earth and lead to way to man's kind inevitable extension what is your guess more alga bloom news on strange sounds or steep quail okay here's the final picture right here guys this uh i already talked about this um about a month ago yeah all right so once again um Snow turned green in uh, Antarctica. Scientists, scientists needs help. <laughs> so, uh, leave comments down below, guys. I want to read your comments. Uh, once again, uh, this, you know, uh, it, it just, snow is changing colors now. You got black snow, red snow, pink snow, red snow. If you see Yellowstone, then then that's man doing that type of stuff. Uh, yellow snow, uh, yellow snow. I was going to say Yellowstone. Yellow snow 
it's basically been around since the very beginning and you guys already know what i'm talking about on that one so if you see yellow snow stay away from it now um all these other colors is basically man-made stuff uh, you have the black snow that happened in Russia due to the fact there was a paper chemical company going on there. Completely turned the snow black. Red snow <clears throat> is due to something else. Again, uh, leave comments out below. I want to know um, what, uh, again, the list of, of color snow. What does, uh, you know, what causes it? Because I know black snow is from Russia and other countries when it comes to chemical uh, companies releasing all that smoke in uh in the air uh we already know about the green snow the red snow and you know it, it just goes to tell you guys that uh you know it, again this in antarctica there's a lot of military going on there and, and it's not only the u.s but you have uh russia there you have uh i believe china and and uh, you again you have the u.s uh and they have all those military stuff there. So you just can't blame Mother Nature for it. Oh, this is going to be steroids for the mighty penguins and they're going to lead to human extinction. I'm like, I can't. I can't. So sometimes I just feel like, well, you know, I gave up on internet for tonight. That's it. No more internet for me. <laughs> so uh, just leave comments down below, guys. I got some more breaking news coming up. So once again, guys, if you want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, uh, Luis Santiago. Give me a second here, Luis Santiago. Or my wife, Jessica Santiago, P.O. Box number two, 3432 U.S. Highway 19, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And if you guys want to send us, uh, again, if you guys want to give your life to Christ, email me. My email is in the description box. Or just uh, visit my website, www.grandsupremenews.net. Also, if you guys want to contribute contribute to this channel support this channel we have the link in the description box thank you so much for watching guys god bless give your life to jesus christ and get baptized we are living in tough time till next time later peace